remember doing as a kid that was super dangerous, but you survived it. 704 570 9595. Like rolling around in the back window on a car trip instead yeah. of wearing your seatbelt in the back seat. Yeah, that's that's true. And parents, by the way, our parents were as much as to blame for that as possible, too. But I mean, sometimes you did things without the parents being around. Like, for instance, we had four wheelers growing up and uh, we dug a ditch and then put a jump over the ditch and jumped over the ditch with the four wheeler. And we all made it. But I mean, like at any given point, it's the dumbest idea. Like you could have easily got the front tire caught in the ditch. Oh, 100 percent. And then we went down to the woods where we were driving one day and the ditch was filled with water. And we were like, this is awesome. Now we're jumping over water. But I mean, God forbid we ever got caught in there. And like, you know, if my parents knew I was doing that, they'd be like, there's no way we're allowing that. Uh, My friends used to catch alligators in the Everglades. We're lucky we all have our digits, okay? Just for fun? Yes. Yeah, that's nuts. Like four-wheeling at night in the Everglades, (laughs) catching baby alligators. I'm like, can we stop? Yeah. It's calling its mother. (laughs) (laughs) And the mother's somewhere close. Right. But what did you guys do uh, that you remember doing as a kid and you can't believe you survived it, but you did. And you'd freak, by the way, if you found your kids doing it. 704-570-9595. Someone said we used to jump in the pool off of our roof of our house when we lived in Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, like the did ranch. Did you do that? Yes, I did do that in high school. The ranch style homes down there are like a big thing. And the pools are so close. And I had this one friend, Lauren. And I used to sleep over her house all the time, and she used to throw ragers. <laughs> we used to jump off the roof <laughs> to the pole. Hold My on. dad would kill me. My mm. mom would kill me if she ever knew that. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? <laughs> I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. <laughs> and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! It wasn't that party. That was a microphone from my girlfriend's party. Got another text message from somebody who said, we used to take my dad's car out, my brother and I. He was 12, I was 10. We would drive for miles. Kathleen, what did you do as a child that you're like, I would kill my kids? Oh, so we used to go out um, down a railroad track that led to a bridge that went over a lake, and we would jump off the bridge into the lake. And we had no clue if there was anything under there. Um, and come to find out a few years later, someone did um, jump off the mm. opposite way that we did and didn't make it. So we were jumping off one side of it and got very lucky. Oh, my gosh. Kids. How <laughs> tall do you think it was? Um, I would say it was like probably 20 to 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, that's Dang. nuts. <laughs> yeah, it, was very, it was very, very high and not smart. I know. I know. But we did it. Gabby, hey. Gabby. Gabby. Hey. Hey, what'd you do as a kid that your parents would kill you for? Um, So it wasn't me, but it was actually my mom and her brother. Um, They're in their late 50s now, so it's a little bit of a different time. Um, But when they were younger, they would do all kinds of dangerous games. Um, One of their favorites that they always like to tell us about is when my mom would literally grab some chains and tie her brother up. Uh, she would attach a cinder block and she would then push him into the pool oh my God. so that he could literally like try and do like a Houdini act to like escape and get out of the pool. She actually did not want to do this. This is per her brother's request. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle's nuts. <laughs> I mean, and he survived it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> and now is he is he doing Lorenz's mouth is wide open. <laughs> Is he doing his own show in Vegas now? Is it somebody yeah, f- right? famous that we know? He is very high up in the military now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, you know they, like, lock you in yeah. the box and, like, yeah. He was training. Your when uncle you was training. training. Yeah, mm-hmm. thanks, Gabby. Hey, Kelly. He's probably, like, a, like SEAL Team 6 or something Oh, for now. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green yeah. Beret. Hi, Kelly. Hey. Kelly, when we were kids, we did things that were really dangerous. What did you do? I rode on the hood of my friend's car while she drove it around the neighborhood. (laughs) Just so stupid. So stupid. And, like, how did we even come up with these ideas? We were literally at my friend's house waiting for her to come out. And 
we were like, you know what, we're so bored. She's taken so long. We're just going to ride around the neighborhood. And I was like, hey, wait for me. And I jumped on, and she just kept on going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the faster she so, went, the more uh-huh. dangerous it was. So and then the more she tried to hit the brakes. Me. Like, me and a girlfriend were on there. <laughs> we were both on the roof, and we were both holding on. And my friend that was driving was, like, taking the turn, seeing if we would hold on. And we're like, woo! I know. Woo! Run, run, cowgirl! <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I were to find out my son was doing that, like, he's only in sixth grade, but whenever yeah. he was older, what if he were to do that, oh, my God, <sighs> I would be freaking out. <laughs> totally. No way. Totally. I know. I know. And the whole idea, your friend was bummed out that you didn't fall off. Like, that was the whole idea yeah, was to she, shake you off the car. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, uh. and, and whenever we got done, we were like, woo, we held on. Like, thank goodness we held on. It yeah, of course. It would awful if we didn't. Yeah. Huh? The stupid things we did as kids, Kelly. Thanks so much yeah, for listening. I'm telling you.